Well, we made it. What do you think? <laughs> it's big. Got some serious spanking. Looks a lot different than like on YouTube. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back. It has been almost, or well, it's been over a month since we've seen y'all. It has felt like forever, but we have had some big changes during that month while we weren't racing. Uh, we did, we took a weekend, a couple weekends off. One weekend we went to Kentucky to see my family. And then the next weekend, we, just, we have had a lot of stuff going on. And we are here at Atomic. Cole and I have never raced here before. Uh, Cole and I came to watch uh, in tw 2020. And uh, so we're gonna test out our luck here. Cole is really excited. He's nervous too. Here he comes. There he is. We just went and looked at the track. It looks really good. He did not realize how much embanking it had on it. How you doing? <laughs> Recording. Wow. One of our big changes is that we got a new car. We've kind of kept it on the down low for a while, but we have, like, if you follow us on TikTok, we've kind of like shown little bits and pieces of it in our TikTok. But we are super excited about the new car. That's why we wanted to bring down here and try it. So, new car, new track. We're going to see how things go. Let me show y'all the new car. track and stuff is I'm kind of I'm nervous <laughs> it's not that we didn't like the lightning but Cole's always wanted this car ever since Jesse Wise Carver had it so we had the opportunity to buy it so we can get the good gear under here get the right gear and I don't know we'll see I've never been here so. I told him I said new car new track we're gonna test out our luck I mean, and see how it goes a new driver. Well, if it's a new like, driver that's gonna be me I'm gonna hammer down we're gonna see how it goes uh he already uh drew his pill and we got a 20 so and they do qualify here so we're gonna see how we qualify and we will let y'all know how that goes sissy i was gonna put that on the floor for you felt pretty good uh i can steer this thing with my pinky it seems like but uh we come to the end of the straightaway it's kind of hitting the chip a little bit um so uh we're gonna do a couple of things and uh, uh we finished uh, qualified 10th out of 34 cars tonight so went really good <laughs> uh guy said we look pretty good uh I don't know where he went, but uh, so I guess the car looks good. It feels good. Uh, we just gotta uh, get it off that chip. We just hitting the chip coming down the straightaway, but uh, we'll see what we got for the heat race. I think second row on the inside uh, behind Kyle Payne. So let's go get him.
loving the car so far, which is something that took him a while to do with the Lightning. And before we sold the Lightning, we actually fixed a bunch of stuff. Fixed a bunch of stuff that we didn't even know that was wrong with it. So I'm kind of sad we didn't get to race that after after we did all that work and fixed it. But Paul is loving this car. He is not doing anything different to the car right now for the future except grinding tires. So he just finished doing that. I will let y'all know where he starts in the feature and we will see y'all then.
y'all. It is Sunday afternoon, late afternoon for us, <laughs> to be getting uh, the car unloaded and the trailer unloaded. We had a very late night last night. We did not get home till 4.30 this morning. That was it's rough. <laughs> well, the payout window took forever, so it kind of set us back. We waited at the payout window for about 30 to 45 minutes. And uh, there were some people that had been standing there longer than us. But it was fun. Last night I done... We just had a two, like a two hour drive and that's why it yeah. took us. We got home so late, but the payout window did take a long time. <laughs> but it was fun. I mean, that was, it was definitely worth going, I think. Yes. I, mean, I done, so, I think I done better than what I thought I was going to do, to be honest. Other than uh, yeah, he, packing out in the, in the qualifying, we kind of made a gear change and after that, cart felt good. I mean, I wish we would have started a little better, you know, qualifying wise, but I mean, 10th out of 34 cars really ain't that bad, I guess. So, plus they got some of the best sport mods down there. So, yeah, we I raced mean, with like the best of the best guys. That, that was, that was definitely a good night. I mean, so I didn't tell y'all where he started before the feature. He started sixth in the feature and he ended up finishing seventh, which is phenomenal. Um, I couldn't have asked him to, I mean, I think he did a fantastic job, but I always say that because I'm always proud of him no matter where he finishes. We didn't have any in-car footage uh, during the races because our bolts are not long enough for the mount. So we've got to get um, a new mount, a new bar mount for the GoPro. And then we're going to change it up. I think I'm instead of it facing him, I think we're going to put it like facing down like kind of behind him but like facing the steering wheel and his hands and everything he said he wishes now that he would have had the in car <clears throat> footage so we could see it because he said he wasn't like cranking on the steering wheel all night that he basically could steer this car with his pinkies <laughs> oh yeah definitely the best steering car i've ever had i just i can't wait to try it again we had trouble with our truck on the way well not really trouble our we have an older truck now and the car was too forward in the trailer so it was just swaying a lot and the steering's kind of off on the truck but he said i think the car drove <laughs> better than my truck and y'all are just gonna have to excuse my congestion i had it last night i can't get this cold sinus infection to go away <clears throat> i don't even know if i told y'all this but we're not in modifieds we're in sport mods we're this car was ran in modifieds, but we were running it in sport mods. I can't even remember if I told y'all that. I'm sure some people are, that know this car were wondering that whenever we bought it. Y'all will be happy to know that Cole did not get in the wall last night. He didn't even get close to it, didn't scrape it. The quarter panel is in the same condition that we took it to the tra <laughs> track in. This is not my doing, this is Jesse's doing right here. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is Jesse's doing, that's not Cole's doing. But the car came home in a great condition, so that is also a plus. Urgent care. You put a heart in all. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jesse's sponsor. That's obviously not our sponsor. So we may be going to Skyline to the Harvest 50. That's a two-day show. Where is that at? Where is Skyline at? Stewart, it's in Stewart, Ohio. Um, I am trying to talk Cole. There's another Be My Thousand Dollar to Win race in Kentucky where I'm from. I'm trying to talk him into that, but that's a long haul. It's six hours. Our next race will be October 8th at Muskingum County Speedway. That is the makeup race in the Jim Dunn Memorial. We will see y'all in the next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for watching. <laughs>